G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second channel, The Butts Man 2. I'm here with little Dickie, as I am each and every week. How do you do, lass? I'm good, mate. <laughs> and this week you're drinking Diet Coke, last week in the comment section. Everyone thought she was drinking red wine. Dickie's getting on the Coke. She loves a bit of Coke. Not bad at all, isn't that right, little Dickie? Apparently. And I'll tell you what, we've been away the last couple of weeks uh, doing shows. We went to Port Macquarie and Coffs mm -hmm. last week. Now mm -hmm. tell me... You got a few photos, a few signatures. Everyone loves a little dicky, even in real life. No, no. Oh, yes. Very exciting. Yes, indeed. I now, met some very nice, good motherfuckers. Indeed, you did. Now, what have we got today? What have you brought the good people of the interweb this very day? Well, woman uses salad dressing as hair conditioner. I think the title speaks for itself. Why the fuck would you use salad dressing as hair conditioner? Exactly right. Let's have a look. We are making homemade laundry detergent. The average American household does 400 loads of laundry every year. Do you reckon we do 400 um, loads of laundry every year? No. The way I shit my pants, probably. <laughs> Here's something that you may not know about our household. We, we're financially good, like we're pretty good, but you, little dicky, buy the very cheap laundry detergent. I like to save money on cleaning products and bathroom products and laundry detergent. It's strange that we buy $2 laundry detergent and yet spend like... It's the same ingredients! Check it and they smell virtually the same. Not the ones you buy. All bought with coupons and it costs her less than $20 a year. I'm Brie Look and nice I'm Mrs. Her house is. Oh really? That's a house. Her house is lovely, unless she's just standing there. You know, there was, someone was saying this uh, on the trip the other day, that the housing prices in, prices in America, and I assume this is in America, mm. the housing prices there are really ridiculously good, cheap. Like, yeah. you can get, like, a really nice house for $300,000. So unfair. I think in, in Sydney, there was, on the news last night, it said there was a townhouse that was, like, beaten down, broken, ruined, no one had lived there for 28 years, sold for $1.6 million, and it was a shithole. So small. So, I mean, I don't know, maybe she's just blown all the cash on this giant house and now can't wash anything in there, but... It remains to be seen. I would never pay full price, ever. Ever. Never, ever again. Mother of two, Bree doesn't only make savings at the supermarket, everything in her stockpile has another use. Is that her? She's fucking cool. Is that her, um... Oh no, this is just giving you ideas. Is this her pantry? Oh my god. She is really stocked up. She must clean a lot. No, but maybe she's one of these people that just buys in bulk. Do you remember, like, I don't know how long ago it was, many moons, I bought, like, um, <laughs> a hundred, a 400 dishwashing tablets. I remember, yeah. And it's lasted us... It's actually been one of the best decisions we've ever made. Probably, like, four decades it's lasted yeah. us. It's, I've still got heaps of them. Both our mums use it, too. If you want any... You're not having it, because I fuck, I'm ready for a nuclear bomb. I'll take anything. China, don't at me. Don't at me. Most items in my stockpile have two uses, like glass cleaner to kill the wasp, toothpaste to get rid of stains off the wall, and salad dressing for hair conditioner. Define salad dressing, because salad dressing could be ranch dressing, or it could be a, a balsamic vinaigrette. Mm. I mean, I know that... We've bought certain hair conditioners before that are like organic and they smell like salad dressing. So maybe she's onto something. I think she's putting mayo in her hair. <laughs> <laughs> These products and more have taken over Bree's spare bedroom. A stockpile of 2,000 items includes 40 cleaning products, 140 tubes of toothpaste, oh, and 160 baths. Yeah, but why would you have oh, all this it's shit? Oh, satisfied. <laughs> Look like at that, though. Even if you had, a, like, a, like, I know you're buying in bulk to save money, but even if there was a nuclear holocaust, you wouldn't need all that, like, no one's going to give a shit how clean your kitchen is if everyone's dead or becoming mutants outside. Thank My you for mom it. probably would. We have enough chips for a summer's worth barbecue, enough napkins to clean everybody's faces with, and enough Everyone's garbage bags faces. to... Are you just going to run around just clean? <laughs> Despite her passion for couponing, Brie hasn't always been convinced the savings were worth the effort. Before I started using coupons, when I used to go to the store and see people use them, I was like, it is not that serious. Just pay for it and let's get out of here. That's the normal reaction. Very. Like, if you can save, you know, 50% or whatever, like, okay, 
Cool. Yeah, but if it's like five dollars. Well, it depends what you're buying. Mm -hmm. Well, if you buy, if, I guess if you save five dollars on your overall shop and you need that cash, then okay, mm -hmm. all the power to you. But. Well, in saying that, she she saved, what, $3,500 on her stockpile, but it also means you lose a room in your house because you need a stockpile. She only got two kids. Maybe she's just a bad bitch and she knows how to bargain. But what type of bad bitch? Is that something that she's Cardi... She's my type of bad bitch. Is that what Cardi B raps about? But when Bree found herself without a full-time job, she turned to couponing to make ends meet. I had my aha moment when I brought home 60 bars of soap for like 30 cents. And I was like, okay, this can work. I was hooked. I told her, I said, baby, could you- Chauncey. He's named after a Pokemon. He looks proud of him. Chauncey. 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 Could you please buy some food? I can't eat soap. It's a day. We have a stockpile that can last for the rest of this year. Thanks to couponing, Bree has been able to drastically cut her family's food budget. We were spending $150 a week on grocery. Now we're down to like 35. Jesus. That is really good. What's she eating though? What are the kids eating? Well, I don't know, but how much do we spend on groceries a week? $220 Wait. plus? Nah. nah. We went shopping yesterday, it was 300 bucks. That's keto shopping though. But no yeah. our normal food shop's like 220, but then we go back again after four days. I'd say 350 for a week. For two people and two greyhounds. And the possums. And the possums. In an attempt to spend less than her current $140 monthly budget, Bree is preparing for her most challenging shopping trip ever. Listen. Can you imagine the cashier? Oh. Oh. Being the cashier and this lady turns up, you just be like, ugh. Oh, this like, bitch. There's a cashier at the moment that we don't deal with at our local Woolies because <laughs> she's too slow. And the other one she's next... She's rude. Uh, the other one next to you talks too much. Yeah, it's a fine line. We can't win. We cannot win. Little Dicky. We've, uh, when we're recording this, it's nearly dinner time, and we've gone through and we've listened to Old Love talk about coupons for like five minutes, okay? Yep. I've had enough. Let's get to the point where she mayonnaise. puts mayo in someone's hair. I hope it's a child, and Let's I hope... Let's do it! I'm only gonna burp. And I hope Docs gets involved. So do I. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is at the end of the video, and I don't want to freak out. Mm. I don't want to freak anybody out. But we have been clickbaited. Woman uses salad dressing as hair conditioner to save money. That's, Bullshit! That's the title of the fucking video and they don't even have her abusing her children with salad dressing in their <laughs> hair. This is garbage, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for the letdown. Sorry for the mad letdown. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We're going to go eat our dinner yeah. and... Uh, if anyone has any ideas for a video for us to do, comment down below or DM Butterfield. And we can do it if you like. The funny thing is, like, you you get a bit shy when you're being serious in these videos, but then you'll go, oh, she's got the dirtiest asshole in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace of Middle East, be dick sticks, keep it voiced. Uh, Vadrix? Or are we getting rid of that? Bye. <laughs>